Hello, hello. Welcome to CS201, Introduction to Information Technology. My name is Brian Willis, and I am an instructor for this course. Uh, it's going to look at first glance like there's a lot of material here to go through, but um, if, as long as we maintain a steady pace, it's really not that bad. It's certainly a lot better than it used to be. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the modules tab here on Canvas. There's a ton of information to go over here. Um, one important thing, if you look, you see it's all just kind of splayed out here. Um, might seem a little chaotic, a little bit much, but the first thing I want you to do is come up to the top where you see collapse all. Hit that. So we don't want to see all of this all at once. We just want to open up the modules that we're working with at the moment. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. I am legally blind. I have to rely on Windows Magnifier. Uh, I apologize if this is an issue for anybody who's watching this, but Let's just go through each of the modules to see what it is that we can expect from this course. So first off, we have orientation and student support. This is going to be things more for your benefit. I'm not going to go into gory detail on any of these, uh, but as most of you are newer students, this might be worth checking out. Uh, also policies, university policies. These have been updated on the syllabus. Um, but they are also here. We do still have a COVID-19 policy. However, because this is an online course, it's not really going to impact us all that much. So let's go down to the syllabus and important uh, course information. And here you can find my contact information. So as I said, my name is Brian Willis. We're going to get to a slight change in that in a moment. Um, this is a fully online course, so we will not have any class meetings. Um, I do have an office, but you usually will not find me there. You would be much better served to email me, in which case, if you need to do that, my email address is here, bwillis1 at jsu.edu. So let's head back and look at the office hours. <clears throat> My office hours officially are anywhere from uh, noon to 2 p.m. on any week, Monday through Friday. However, I try to respond to emails pretty regularly between the hours of 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, if you respond to me or if you email me during those times, I will get back to you fairly quickly. Usually, uh, within an hour or so, um, if not within about 24 hours, if you do not get a response from me after the 24 hour period has expired, then go ahead and send me another one just to make sure that I see it. Sometimes Jim will just lose emails or I might have a particularly heavy email load one day and I just miss yours. I apologize for that in advance. Just go ahead and send me another one. You're not going to hurt my feelings. It's not going to be rude or anything like that. If you need to set up a Teams meeting, just let me know. We can do that very easily. All right, basic class info. Like I said, this is a fully online course. It is self-paced. Everything's going to be available from the very start and is going to be due at the very end. You don't want to procrastinate, though, because there are quite a lot of assignments to do. In general, I would advise you try to do two assignments per week. Um, if you do more, that's great. If you do less, that's less great. Uh, you will have to make up uh, that lost time. Uh, all assignments except for the attendance quiz are due uh, by December 6th. That number is not here. The attendance quiz, I will accept it no later than August 30th. However, 
I would prefer you get it done, and the due date is set for December, or set, bleh, excuse me, for August 26th. Um, but yeah, all of your assignments are going to be on December 6th. That is the last day of class. I cannot give extensions on this. That is as far as we can take it. So make sure you get all of your stuff done before that due date hits. So we'll come on back. One thing you'll notice with Canvas is that sometimes it takes a little while to load. Just be patient. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that it has to take care of. Grading policy. This is what everybody wants to know. So there are a total of 2,210 points. 10 points come from your attendance quiz. 10 or 1,000 are going to come from your um, tech module exams. And the remaining 1,200 are going to come from your projects. Pardon me. Um, in order to get an A in this class, you need 1,989. A B is 1,768. A uh, C is 1,547. And to pass this class at all, you need 1,326. Anything below that is a failing grade. I do not give extra credit. I do not scale. The points you get are the points you got. So make sure that you are doing your work well enough to pass this class. So here is a more, here's the breakdown of your points like I explained. Let's head back and check out the next module. Uh, required book, computer, and software. This is an online class. If you don't have a computer, we got a big problem. You need to come see me yesterday. So our book, we're using the Shelley Cash series Microsoft Office 365 and 2019 introductory first edition. We are part of the first day book program, which means you already have access to your textbook if you have not opted out of this program. I don't recommend opting out because it goes straight to your student account um, and you get a bit of a discount. It might be a better discount if you have for students with Cengage Unlimited to get their books that way. I don't really know. Um, but if you have Cengage Unlimited, you can also access the book that way. Um, if you should opt out of the first day book program, make absolutely certain that you get your book from the bookstore. Do not get it from Amazon or Chegg or some other third party. If you do, you will not be getting the same book. You will not be getting access to our mind tech course. You will not be able to complete assignments and pass this class. Get your book either via the First Day Book Program or the JSU Bookstore. I think you might be able to get it directly from Cengage. Um, check the information here. Uh, however, as far as I'm aware, everyone who's taken this class uh, since we started doing the First Day Book Program has either done it using First Day or has gone to the bookstore, considering it's really convenient, easy to get to. If you need to go there, the TMB, second floor, right across from the food court where you can find Chick-fil-A and Freshens. Software. You will need Microsoft Office. I will go over how to install that on your machine. Uh, we do not allow the web-based version because it lacks features that you need in order to complete your projects. So you need to install it on your device. Furthermore, as far as your device is concerned, you need a laptop or desktop that is running Windows or Mac. Uh, Linux, you could probably get away with if you know what you're doing, uh, but highly recommended you use Windows or Mac. Uh, that can be either a desktop or a laptop. Phones run into problems on Canvas where certain assignments don't appear. Um, Chromebooks, it's all web-based, and again, we can't use web-based anything in this class. I would personally love to tell you, you can use any device that works for you in this course, but unfortunately, that's just not the case here. So, uh, no Chromebooks, no smartphones, no tablets to do your work. It's not going to work. If you do not have access to your own device, you have access to um, the computer labs. They're in Ayers Hall, room 257, and also 
the library. I believe it's on the 10th floor. Okay, so these modules here, uh, textbook info, first aid book access program, uh, how to register your mind tap book. We're not going to worry too much about these. Uh, I'll let you read them on your own time. Um, make sure you follow any instructions you find in here in these modules. But we're going to look at um, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Um, used to be the how to get those programs was right above this module. However, I will just show you um, how to do it in this video. So here we are in Jim. What you want to do is go to the top left where you see these nine dots arranged in a square. Click these. And you see office up here at the top. The first time I tried to do this, I did not even notice this was here. All of these are going to take you to the web versions of these apps. So we don't want to use those. We just want to go to this. And you might get a pop-up like this. Uh, let's see. What is this? This is new. Um, It is just talking about office for education. I would like to close these. Okay, sorry about that. So, install Office. Click this. Uh, office 365 apps. You will click this. It will download an installer to your device. Uh, just run it. It's extremely simple. I don't need to show you how to use it. Um, just install everything. Uh, because you've downloaded it through Jim, uh, you have access to the full suite. If um, it asks you to verify your um, installation, all you do is enter your Jim email and password, and you're good to go. You will have to do that the first time you use um, any of the Office programs in this course. So first time you log into Windows or the first time you log into Word, you're going to have to um, register with your Jim email and password. And the same thing goes first time you use Excel and PowerPoint. Downloading MindTap projects and files. I'll go over this in another video. Uh, this one, I specifically want to focus on Canvas and not overload with information. So, introduction to Sam, Sam and MindTap, all of these here, these are for you to check out. If you want to read the full syllabus, it is here at the very bottom of this module. So, let's head to the next one, and that is your attendance quiz. Um, in order to verify your attendance in this course, we have a small attendance quiz. I want this to be done by August 26th. I will accept it by the 30th. Um, I need that information so that I can verify your attendance in this class so that you get the financial aid that you expect. Uh, in addition to this, I also have a preferred name and pronouns um, assignment for you. This is totally optional. You do not have to disclose. However, if you want to, uh, here's the format for how you're going to submit it. You want to give your, your name as it, as it appears on Canvas, for, uh, followed by your preferred name. In my case, it is Scarlett. If you want to give your pronouns, you can. Mine are she, her, or they, them is also acceptable. Again, not at all required. I just have this here for students who want to use it. Uh, I will respect your preferred name and pronouns. Um, just make sure that you get this to me by August 26th so I can have it in my per my own personal records uh, as soon as possible. Just so I know um, to respect certain uh, preferences.
MindTap technical support. This is for you in case you have issues with MindTap. You can always email me and maybe I can work something out. But this is a more surefire way to get the help you need. Cengage Unlimited dashboard. If you're using Cengage Unlimited, go here for your uh, book. Uh, readings, reading and videos to help you get started. I'll let you go over these if you need them. What I want to focus on is these. So you, you have your MindTap tech module 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, and 14. Uh, these are readings on general topics within the field of technology. Uh, you're, we're going to talk about a wide range of topics, including security, computer networks, um, digital media, and so on and so forth. So uh, each of these modules, let's just click one. You'll see we have our uh, reading material, have a few sections of that. Um, you have your skills training. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this. However, it does help students. Generally, those who use these do better in the class. And then finally, you have your exam. These are worth 100 points each. And like I said, they're due at the very end of the semester. So get these done. I recommend doing them in order, but you can do the MindTap exams in any order you please. Um, moving down, we also have uh, our office projects or our SAM projects. Let's open up the first one. So you'll have some reading material, uh, or rather some practice material, some SAM training. Again, people who use these do better in the course. And then you have your SAM project. I'm going to apologize in advance on SAM because SAM is an incredibly picky piece of software. It will flag things that any human instructor would say is correct. So I have a small compromise that I give to my classes uh, every semester. I said before that I don't give extra points. I don't scale. However, there is one exception. Say for your word projects, you get an 80, a 70, and a 75. Say then that on your capstone project, this you could think of as an exam all four word concepts, say you get an 85 on the capstone. All three of these modules here will be risen to an 85. Because if you do better on the capstone than you did on the modules, that tells me that you learned those concepts and you deserve those points. So it's not really extra credit. It's more just I will match what you are capable of. If your capstone is your highest grade for a particular set of projects, then that will be your grade for all of them. Um, I will only do this for assignments where you have attempted them and gotten something other than a zero. If you get a zero on your Word modules, or you just didn't do them, you get no points from your capstone. It is as simple as that. I don't want to make a system that is easily gamed where someone be like, oh, I can just do the capstones and pass the class. No, you have to do all of these if you want to pass. And if you're going to put in the time to get something other than a zero in these, you might as well just do them properly at least try to because if you don't practice with these you're probably not going to do well on the capstone anyway and get those extra points so we have our word excel and powerpoint projects each with a capstone at the end uh, when we do these courses in person we have a final project we do not have a final project in this because it is online. So we uh, are just going to do the regular assignments. I might throw in some bonus stuff just 
extra learning material. It will not be graded. It'll be things like making strong passwords or writing a resume, a cover letter, uh, discussion about online presence, things that you really should know before you graduate. So let's learn them as soon as possible. So the last thing I want to show you is lecture PowerPoints. Since we don't have lectures in this class, uh, you have access to the PowerPoint slides that we normally use for our lectures. Um, you can use these, you can uh, take notes in them, do whatever you like. You also have access to my video lectures. In uh, previous online classes, thanks to the pandemic, I recorded my lectures for students who couldn't make it to class. So in all subsequent classes, I have made them available for you to watch. The issue for the time being that I will resolve in time is we do not have uh, we don't have recorded lectures for Word Module 1, PowerPoint Module 3, um, and we don't have lecture recordings for Modules 11 and 14. I will resolve those for you guys in time for you to take advantage of them. Uh, but for now, just know that those are missing from this course. So... That is pretty much going to do it for the modules. Uh, the assignments tab, I don't recommend you use this. You want to access absolutely everything by going into Canvas and using the modules tab. All of these other tabs are here, but you really don't need them per se. You might find them useful. Uh, if you want to email me, you can do so via Jim, or you can use the email client within Canvas. So that's all you really need to know about Canvas itself. Um, and we've gone over Office and uh, how to set that up. So that more or less gets you good to go. Um, I'm going to do one other video. Uh, that will explain things in MindMap, how you're going to access it, and how you're going to complete your assignments. So be on the lookout for that as soon as it is posted here.